my YouTube channel. Ah, uh, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch dances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, now. it's unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shape. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Habib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Habib Nurmagomedov, he's a guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Iceman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This one's good. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Right hand punch with the clinch. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really got his opponent on 
notice it. Lands a big elbow there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? If try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying because he shot many takedown attempts and he finally has secured it. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Wow. Nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Whoa! He's got him hurt here. Oh, straight right. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. He goes and this might just be a matter of time. Side control is pretty safe there. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Today. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready, fight. Ready. All right, round two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice punch by Delago Meadow. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call. Oh! He's out. He got him. What a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 49 seconds of round number two. We're going the winner by Knockout Iceman. Thank you for right, watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight.